Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim, with inflation at 5.7 and unemployment at a staggering rate of 35.3%, and petrol prices now reaching a record high, the mood out there naturally is one of somber gloom and depression. But allow me a moment to change your spectacles. And I asked you to look through a different lens and a different eye. When you change the way you look at things, the things you look at also change. To start off, it has always been part of the devilish agenda to threaten us with poverty. The devil threatens poverty and advocates obscenity. One of the traits described in the Quran of the hypocrites is they are a nation living in constant fear, panic, stress, and anxiety. They like in spasm. Every cry, every scream, every shout, they fear it is an attack coming upon them. But that's not the condition of a believer. How does a believer respond whenever he's overwhelmed or he's overpowered or the odds are against him or he's outnumbered? Hasbunallah. Allah is sufficient for us. And he surely is the best disposer of all affairs. Now that you've realized this, then rejoice, relax, be chilled. Imam Shafi'i rahimahullah said, ففي أي شيء تذهب النفس حسرة وقد قسم الرحمن رزق الخلائق Why are you fretting? Why are you complaining? Why are you whinging? Why are you moaning? Allah is giving you the wealth. We might argue that today the price of petrol is higher than previously. 20 years ago it was cheaper. But if you couldn't afford it 20 years ago, my brother, and you can afford it today, then honestly speaking, in your context, it is cheaper today. The Allah that has sufficed for you till today, will he not suffice for you tomorrow?